Good morning, chamos. You're watching Alvaro de Blads. Today episode, we are going to talk about CSS Aspect Radio. So the Aspect Radio is just a relationship within the height and the width of an element. Even if you wasn't aware of this concept, you have been using it for a while. For example, Instagram media is normally one by one, meaning that the height and the width are the same. YouTube videos like the one you're watching right now are 16 by nine. This concept is also widely applicable to the web, and that's what we are going to talk about today. For example, in YouTube, as I was uh, telling you before, the thumbnails and the videos are 16 by 9, so they all keep the same aspect ratio. Here, for example, you have a blog post. So the idea of having the aspect ratio is no matter how much you shrink or you resize your screen, relationship within the height and the width of the element remains the same, no matter the size of it. So a post with a thumbnail like this one should maintain the same one as if I go to mobile. So the aspect ratio of the image remains the same and you can see all the elements inside. Okay, now I can see. So another thing that is important to highlight about the aspect ratio is that here we had the same image in a different size. This one is bigger than this one, but both maintain the same aspect ratio that is three by four. So no matter how much you sh shrink or you resize it, it will maintain the same relationship between the height and the width. A few days ago, a colleague of mine posted on the front end channel of the company that there is a working draft for the CSS aspect radio. So finally, it will be available on CSS soon. Why I say finally? Because before uh, this property that we see here, where you can define the radio, um, for example, here 16 by nine, uh, you needed to use hacks to achieve the same result. And when I say hacks, you're probably thinking about the padding top hack that I'm going to show you. One week later. Let's try the padding top hack. I'm going to use code pen today. Um, the only modifier is that I added Tailwind here in the CSS as a dependency. So we can prototype faster and I'm just going to create a wrapper that has some max with, I don't know, LG that is centered and probably put some padding top to it. So let's check. Okay, cool. And inside we are going to create a box that is going to help us demonstrate the aspect radio, right? Um, let's add some background to style it. Maybe we do it um, rounded. Round that. And let's add a shadow to make it pretty. So this one is going to be an aspect radio one by one. So right now it's taking the whole width of the container. So I'm just going to add a width of one third of the container. Okay, that, that's good. I'm gonna remove this first uh, and you will see why. For now, I'm just going to create some CSS here. And unfortunately, I cannot do it with Tailwind. I, I think I can't. Okay, so I'm going to do it like this. So we are going to create a pseudo element for uh, that box that is going to help us create the hack. So we add it a uh, content, uh, empty content and display block. So it takes the proper space. And we are going to use padding top here. Okay, in this case, I'm going to put 100% and because we don't want anything else but the padding to uh, affect the height of the component and you can see even now that it's taking a full square right so here I'm going just to ensure that nothing else is affecting the height and also probably I'm going to add uh, overflow hide so anything that goes up uh, outside of the box it doesn't show right so how this work um let's inspect this element here we can see that the box itself is 170 kind of width 
and the height is the same. So why is this happening? Because when we use padding top or padding bottom, these properties are relative to the width of the parent element. So here, the parent element or the box is a third of the maximum width uh, of the container is 170 pixels, whatever you put there. And we are creating a cell element inside that is using a padding top of 100. So it's 100% of the width of the element. That means it's a perfect square. Um, how we can play with it? Um, so if we want a certain aspect radio, let's say we want, uh, I don't know, 16 by nine, then we have to do some calculation. It's just the rule of, of third. So we go to the calculator here really fast and we divide this like this and multiply by 100. So it will be a nine divided by 16 and multiply by 100. That will give us like 656.25. It was yeah okay more or less like that here it needs to be a, a, a dot so here we have a perfect aspect radio of 16 by 9 why did I remove the, the element inside because if you're using this hack you need to do certain adjustments to um, center or position the elements inside let me show you so if I put 6 in my 9, you will see that this is actually in the bottom. And that's because the cell element is taking the padding top and is pushing every content inside of the, comp of the element down. For fixing that, we are going to uh, add a relative position here. Okay. And yeah, we will need to do something as this so it's not very nice but it will work so we, we put the element inside as an absolute and we put inset uh, zero and let me see if it works yeah okay cool so now the element inside is inside of the element right so it's no longer uh, push it down. It has a position absolute relative to the to the container. If we want to center it, um, for example, we could we could actually yeah we could do it absolutely, or we can do that that the span is um, let's use a div that's still on a span maybe okay. And we put a height full, flex, justify, center, align, center. Let's see if it works. So the line is not working because, see? So a full height, full width, it's align center. I don't remember. Oh, no, item center. Okay, that's it. Um, yeah, let's use a different color. So text white maybe. Okay, better. So now that I show you how to use the padding top hack to create this aspect ready illusion, uh, I'm going to show you how to use the CSS property and you will see how clean and easy to do. It's practically one liner. Um, for that, I'm going to just remove everything that we did inside of the box with the cellular element and also this unnecessary diff inside here, okay? Um, we're just going to leave the one for the diff, that's correct. And I'm going to add the 16 by 9 here, okay. Okay. So, if we use aspect radio and you can set the dimensions directly. You don't need to use percentage anymore. You will have the same aspect radio um, that you can achieve with the padding top hack. So it will be 16 by nine. Um, to fix this here, we're probably going to just do inline flex 
uh, justify center as we did before and item center we can set again the text as white and without the necessity of having any absolute inside uh, any div that is absolute inside we can center stuff from our box so that's really cool uh, does it work for other aspect radius? Of course it does. Um, here I'm just going to copy and paste and create another div. That's nice. Maybe we can separate them a little bit by adding some margin, small margin between. I'm going to add here the same. And for this one, I'm going to do a four by three, okay? So right now, of course, we have only one box. So one cool way to uh, pass um, the aspect ready that we need is through a CSS variable. So here, I'm just going to put the style. Mm -hmm. And aspect radio. Um, let me just check how it was. So this is going to be four by three. And we copy and paste here in this one. And we set the 16 by nine. And inside of our box, we only need to change this by the variable. So here we use bar aspect radio radio and here we have it so we have one box with 16 by 9 and one with 4 by 3 um do we want the one by one the perfect square that we did in the beginning of course we can here and here And that's just the easy way to create boxes with aspect radios uh, that are defined is amazing and I love this property because it makes our life so much easy in terms of setting the aspect radio for example for media that is in your web page uh, it's just one liner and avoids having um, hacks with pseudo elements uh, hacks that requires uh, the content to be absolute um, inside of a relative comp uh, container it makes life easier Okay, that's awesome, but uh, how we can apply this to the real world, right? So, the perfect example will be this one. I created a code pen that you can uh, access in the writing tutorial. I set the link there, and in code pen. So, these two cards have a um, thumbnail of one of my videos in YouTube, and one of them is using the aspect radio uh, property and the other, the other one doesn't. So in this size of the screen, it does look well for both, but if I resize, you start seeing how this image is getting cropped and it loses parts of the image that you might want to show. Meanwhile, this one, it always maintains the same dimensions between the width and the height. So the image, it doesn't get affected by resizing the whole width. And I can get as stream as going this far, well, of course, CodePen also had their uh, breakpoints, but you can see that the image, it doesn't get affected. It reduces size, but it always maintains the same aspect radius. So this is the use case um, for a uh, web that you want to use this property. And that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching. This was a video about CSS aspect radio property. If you like it or you learn something new, please drop a like, it means a lot. And you can also subscribe for more. I'm going to post new videos for new content about Nox, Vue, CSS, and Frontend in general every Monday. Also, I had to apologize because this week I was sick and I couldn't record the whole video in a row. So you will see a lot of this continuity between the camera that is uh, recording me. A lot of light changes and also my haircut change. So, um, sorry about that and thanks for watching. See you in the next one, chamos.